Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Randy Nguyen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the orange tip of an airsoft gun. Now, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in both After Effects and DaVinci Resolve just because, just because I guess. Um, After Effects it's a little more uh, I think you'll see what I mean. Da Vinci is a little more uh, simple, but I, I like to show you guys both because I know a lot more people use Adobe After Effects for, for things like this, or like for visual effects, I guess, in general, or compositing. So we're going to start by going ahead and making a new comp, and let's trim our work so about here. And then, oh, shut up. And then, there you go. I mean, that's, that's a good start. All right. So, here's my method. I'm sure there's plenty of methods out there, but let me show you how I do this. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and just key out the orange. You're going to go key, key light. Zoom in real close, and you're going to want to select the most orange of this tip right here. So the cleanest and the truest colors of the orange. Just so it can make your life a little, whoops. Just so it can make your king a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go ahead and hide this. Alright, now you, as you can see, we've gotten rid of the orange, but we've also gotten rid of the orange that are in our skin tones. So what we're going to do about this is we're going to go ahead and first of all, let's duplicate this again and we'll tint the middle one orange. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, black and white. So let me relabel these for you guys just so you guys know. Um, orange removal, uh, whatever. And then we'll call this black. Well, good enough and white so let's go ahead and tint this black and white so we're going to go to effects color where's color 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 color, color. and tint ta-da black and white um, that's fine all right we can yeah we can always you guys can always finish this later so now you can see that we've gotten rid of our orange tip and the next thing we sh got to do is get the orange back into our skin tones and we can do this by creating a mask around the tips that we want altered so let's go ahead and whoops not that pre-compose this we'll call it by by orange now let's go ahead and put a mask around our orange tip. And ta-da, we got our orange skin tones back. But now we have, um, you know, just a floating piece of gray tint in the middle. So what you're going to want to do from here is start, you know, animating your mask. Whoops, not that. Animating your mask, you want to select your keyframes here. And, you know, just go ahead and follow it. You know, you want to do this until you've got everything covered. And I'm gonna try to do this a little sloppy but quick. All right, back. So now I've animated the mask to follow the, the orange tip and as you can see, it looks pretty good, right? See, even this guy's nodding. Looks pretty good to him, right? <laughs> All right, let's move on to Da Vinci and you're gonna see how awesome it is. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, redo everything. Let me restart everything. Reset node grade. Let me start by saying how awesome DaVinci is. You know, it's an awesome program. It's free. And even if you want the full version, it's just 300 bucks. And it's, I think DaVinci actually comes with every camera that you buy from them. So that's awesome, too. You got to, you know, get something cheap from them. 
and boom. You can composite in DaVinci, you can do color, I mean, of course, you can do some sound mixing, and you can deliver it, you know, it's everything you want into one thing, and they make it free, it's ridiculous. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, there, there's a couple ways you can do it in here. You can probably qualify the orange here, and if uh, if you guys are don't know anything about DaVinci, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of, there's a lot of. Mm, tutorials out there to help you but if you guys would like me to make a tutorial you know I took a class on color grading in film school I could probably help you guys out with that you know you guys want just say yes or no or please but uh, let's move on we'll go ahead and go into our curves here and we're gonna go into our second tab you can go here and go to I'm sorry our our third tab so we're gonna go to hue and saturation and we're going to want to, again, pick the cleanest orange we can get, the truest orange of the tip right here. And it's going to be right, right here for me. It's going to be different for everybody else. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And, again, bring down the orange. So I pull in this guy down. And... There you go. It's gone. I mean, it's, you know, I'm sure there's a little finessing you got to do, but that was so much simpler than After Effects, you know. Let's zoom out, and again, you want to go ahead and do Power Window. It's not called a mask in here. Man. Now, to get our orange back into our skin tones, you're going to want to head and go do a Power Window. So go to our Windows tab and, uh, you know, create a Power Window, go around your thing and let's condense this and now you have to track it now tracking is stupidly easy in in uh in davinci resolve so just let me show you that real quick just let's track forward boom track backwards hold up uh oh track backwards Boom, you know, there you go. It wasn't that hard, was it? It's so easy to use DaVinci, you know. You'd be surprised with what you can do. Let's go in and full screen this. And boom, see? It's not in again. Looks pretty sick, right? Let me move the mouse for you guys. Oh my gosh, why won't this move? Right, anyways, yeah, you can see right there. You know, it's awesome. Can't even tell. If anything, it looks like more like the sheen of a metal. Looks like the sheen of the of uh, the like the gun. You know, it's as if the paint's been scratched off and it's exposing the metal. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. So, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and send them to us. You know, we are. My partner and I, Dean, we uh, we started this whole stupid little digital vibrant thing in high school, and we've been trying to get it to grow since then. Um, you know, go ahead and check out our digital vibrant channel and check out our shorts that we've made in high school. We're still continuing to grow, so uh, you know, carry along for the ride. Thanks for watching again, and uh, feel free to you know you don't have to, but. Feel free to subscribe. Maybe more stuff will come and it'll help us out. Thanks a lot.